Hello, it's Liz and welcome. Before I get into the video, I would just like to say, again, thank you so much for your guys' support. I have reached 100 subscribers just a few days after posting a video about having 30. It is really surreal to me and I just really want to say thank you guys again. The support means absolutely everything to me. I love all of your sweet comments. They make my day reading them. Please don't think that I don't see them or that I don't or that they don't mean anything to me because they do. I try to respond or like everyone's comment. I see you. I see them. I really appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm very grateful for 100 subscribers. Thank you so much. Now to get into the video. We are going to be celebrating reaching 100 subscribers by villager hunting. That is why it is September 3rd at 1.53 p.m. I did time travel a little bit. I'm not going to lie about it, obviously. I did time travel, but I hope you guys can forgive me. I'm doing it for the 100 subscriber special. Please forgive me. I know. I don't, I don't like to time travel if I don't have to, but I thought 100 subscribers, this necessitates that I time travel because you guys really love the villager hunting videos and I really love making them. So that's what we're gonna be doing in today's video. I have, oops, that's not my inventory. I have 25 Nook Miles tickets to spend today. I'm not allowing myself to use any more unless I absolutely have to, but I'm going to try not to. Agnes uh, recently moved out there right by Eric. So that's where the empty plot is. That's one we are going to be filling. I said in a previous video that I did not think Agnes was going to be permanent, uh, a permanent resident on Lakeview. And that rang true. As she asked me, she was the first one who asked me to move out. And I said yes. So without further ado, let's get into the villager hunting. The villagers that I am most looking for are Lolly, Marina, Diana, Hazel, Julian, I would take Kid Cat. I would also love to have Victoria, the racehorse, which I know not a lot of people like her, but Savannah was in my wild world town and Seeing her in New Horizons just really brings me back to a simpler time, you know? Uh, I love that she's a racehorse. I like her colors. She's just a simple gal, and I get nostalgia when I, when I see her. So I would love to take her home. Really, that's about it. I already have a lot of the dreamies that I want, so... We'll have to see what this hunt brings us. Yay, island number one. Okay, let's see. I see the fire pit. Who's that? <gasps> Blanche. I like her. She's very, very pretty. I like her little rosy cheeks. But I'm not going to take her. I think if I saw her a few uh, tickets deep, or if I didn't have many tickets left, I would take her. But right now, let's just stick to the villagers on our list. The stormy weather is making me a little chilly, so I had to grab a cardigan, but I'm back. And we are at island two. Let's see who we have. <gasps> who is that? They are cute. <gasps> Her 
little freckles are so cute. Are her eyes green? Or black? Can't tell. She is pretty cute. I don't think I'm gonna take her, but she's very cute. I really love her freckles. They're making me, they're making me feel some type of way. But I'm only two tickets in. Two tickets in. And I want to keep going. But maybe if, if we see her again, I'll take her. Because she's very cute. Two pretty good villagers in a row, you guys. We first saw Blanche. And now we saw... Um, I don't know how you say her name. B? Bia? B? I don't know. Okay, island number three. We've got Sister Fruit Island. I need my umbrella. I'm getting rained on. I see a chicken. It's a chicken. Is it Goose? Is that who this is? Benedict. Oh, Benedict. Benny, Ben, Benedict. You know, I'm not the biggest fan of the chicken villagers. I'm just not. Nothing personal, buddy but it's just the way the cookie crumbles. I hate to say it, I really do. But I'm leaving this island and I'm not taking Benedict with me. Okay, island number four. Oh, Sprocket. Hello, my good sir. I can't believe that Sprocket is a jock. I think it's so funny. I don't know why, but I love his rain outfit though. Suits you so well. Have great style. Uh, I think Sprocket is cool. I would love to see what his house looks like. But I definitely don't think he fits the vibe on my island. But I definitely can appreciate him. I do think he's a very cool villager. I like the more special villagers. Um, like how... Um, I'm trying to think of one. Well, like how Victoria is a racehorse. She's not just a normal horse. Or how Savannah is a zebra. Or Tucker is a woolly mammoth. I would actually really love to have Tucker on my island. So add Tucker to the dreamy list. Tucker, Tucker, Tucker. Um, there's another one I'm thinking of. Uh, oh, 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 oh. Hans, the abominable snowman. I would also love to have him on my island since we're coming into the winter months here in the northern hemisphere. I think that he would just be a great addition. He seems like he's just a giant teddy bear. Just would hug ya any day of the week, you know. Um, I know I said I really don't like the gorilla villagers, but he is one that I can. I can appreciate. I just, I really like the fact that he is a yeti. I don't know. Something about him. Add him, What you know what? Add him to the list too. We're now looking for Hans too. Because why not? Island number five. I think. Yes. Island number five. And it is freaking this guy. What is his name? Boots? Boots. Talk to me. Uh, I don't know why, but the way that hats sit on the alligator villagers just doesn't sit right with me. Why is it on, like, that just does not sit right with me. Boots, your rain hat is sliding off the back of your head. You need to fix that. Like, I get they can't put it on, like, the top of their head because that's where their eyes are. But maybe just, like, take it, a, like, a little higher? I don't know. Just doesn't sit right with me. Alright, island number six. Here we go. It's a bird. Wait, is it a bird? Is this boots again? Oh my gosh. Okay. Already seeing doubles after six Nook Mouse tickets. I'm not the happiest camper right now. Such a waste. 
of a Nook Mile ticket. Are you kidding me? You know, Nintendo, not even Nintendo, you know, Orville, these aren't cheap. These Nook Miles tickets aren't cheap. Also, is it Orville who flies the plane or the other one? Wilbur. Wilbur flies. Okay. You know what, Wilbur? These Nook Miles tickets are not cheap. And I wish that you would just take me to a different island instead of taking me to a duplicate island. Island number seven, I believe. Six. Wait. No, this is seven. Island number seven. And we... Okay. I almost started freaking out because I thought it was boots again. This isn't as bad as getting boots three times in a row, but it, it's a little bit of a slap in the face, you know? What do you want, Drago? I'm just kidding. I, I, I like Drago. I can appreciate him. He's also on the list with Tucker and Hans and all of them. Uh, I love that he's a dragon. Again, doesn't really match the, the vibe of my island, but I can appreciate it. I wish I was happier to see him, but, you know, after two times in a row seeing boots, I just was a little thrown off there. Okay, island number eight. Sister Fruit Island. Mm, where are they? Ooh, is this, uh, oh wait, who is this? Ig Igly. Igly. Igly, so cute. I love his little red cheeks. But his outfit doesn't match. And I also don't like that he's just looking up. Like, what's he looking at? He would be really cute if his pupils were in like the normal place. But I, I don't really like the villagers when they're looking to the side or looking up or anything like that. Not my favorite attribute. Oh my goodness. Ugh. I am exhausted. School has been kicking my butt as of recent, but it's all right. I will sleep at some point. <laughs> when that point is, I'm not sure, but some point it will happen. Island number nine. Wow, we're almost halfway through these tickets. That's great. Billy. Is that you, old man? Yes, it is. Hello, Billy. It also surprises me that Billy is a jock. He's super cute, but I will not be taking him with me. And you know what? It's annoying me that I'm getting soaking wet, so I'm going to put my... Or I'm going to hold my umbrella again. Who is that? Oh, Soleil. I, I like Soleil. I know a lot of people don't like her, but I can appreciate her. I think she's cute, but I already have two hamsters on my island and I don't need another one. I'm actually waiting for one of them to, to leave. I cannot wait until the day that Apple decides to move away because she, I just, I'm telling you, I can't, I can't handle her anymore. She's peppy. She freaks me out. She's always following me on the island, you know. i just not a fan. Bamboo Island. Nice. How many ticket? I already saw who it was. I already saw who it was. Ugh. Okay, that was island number 11, actually. I don't remember what this sheep's name is. She really, oh gosh. Talk to her, come on. 
Muffy. Her eyes are so creepy. The rest of her I'm fine with. I love that she matched her outfit with her coloring, but you know what? I just, I just, I'm leaving. <laughs> island number 12, I believe. Is this island number 12? Yes, island number 12, alrighty. We gotta climb for this one. Who is it? I think it's a cow. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Ooh, it's Angus. Ooh, okay. Why would they name a cow Angus? <laughs> I'm pretty sure he was in Wild World too, and I just... That's so morbid to name a cow Angus. But I also think it's kind of cute. Island number 13. We got a climber. That's fine. Colton, hello. Colton reminds me of Carlisle from the Twilight movies. I don't know why, don't ask me why, but whenever I see Colton, I think of Carlisle. And I just, I really, I don't mind that. <laughs> I love the Twilight series, love Carlisle. Maybe I should have picked Colton up, actually, you know? I don't know. If we see him again, maybe I will. That would actually be, now that I'm thinking about it, an amazing island theme. Are you kidding me? A Twilight-themed island? I'm trying to think of other villagers that resemble the Twilight characters. That would be a really good island theme. <laughs> now I'm like, do I want to make my island Twilight theme? <laughs> oh gosh. If you guys like Twilight as much as I do, let me know if you can think of any other villagers that remind you of Twilight characters. I would love to hear them. I would love nothing more than to hear them. Who do we got? Humphrey. You can tell by the feet. All right. I am getting nervous. We have 11 tickets left. We are officially halfway through, more than halfway through, and I haven't found one of my dreamies yet. Okay, island number 15, I think. Yes, 15. I don't know why I keep losing count. Oh my word. That has got to be one of the creepiest things I've ever seen. Uh, Simon, that's what I said when I, when I saw you, so... I'm having second thoughts. Simon's kind of cute. <laughs> but I don't want him. I take back what I said. I'm sorry, Simon. I also like your name. Ten tickets left. Y'all, ten tickets. Now, I'm getting kind of nervous. I feel like because I had such great luck my last time I went villager hunting with Maple that I won't find someone this time. We got another climber. Island number 16. I don't see them, but I do see a bottle. So I'm going to go get that first. Drum roll, please. We have a bamboo sphere. Oh, I don't know this one, actually. Cool. All right. Let's see who we got up here. Still don't see them. <gasps> Deirdre. My precious. Deirdre. I love, 
love her color. The color of her name in the in the little chat box thing. Exquisite. Love the color palette. But the one thing that makes me not like her is her mouth. Why is it white? Why does it look like she stuffed her snout in a bunch of flour and didn't wipe it off? She's so cute otherwise, and I just, I don't know. I, I know people really like her, and she's great if you're making a cottagecore island, but the white mouth, it just really puts me off. I don't know. I, I wanna like her, but I just can't. I'm sorry, Deirdre. Please forgive me. I had to take a brief intermission there because I spilled Diet Coke all over myself. <laughs> uh, whoops. I'm sorry though, I got it all cleaned up. And we are ready to rock and roll again. Okay, Sister Fruit Island again. I've used 17 Nook Miles tickets. I have eight left. And it's a bear. I think it's that same bear that I saw in my last one. No, wait, this is Groucho. No, this is Ike. All right, Ike. Why is your face like that? Not the worst thing I've ever seen, but definitely not the best. Okay, another climbing one. Let me see who it is. Oh, I can't. Okay. Who is it? Oh, is it... N I'm gonna guess Norma. Wow, I'm good. <laughs> Norma's very, very cute. Very, very, very cute. I think... Do I take her? How many tickets? I have seven left, you know what? I'm gonna risk it. I'm not gonna take her. Although she's very cute. Nah, I'm not gonna take her. I'm just gonna keep going. Alright, seven tickets left. Seven chances to get a dreamy. Let's see if it happens. Any of these seven times. Probably not. <laughs> Is the <gasps> Kit Kat, Kit Kat, Kit Kat, Kit Kat. Yay! Hi, buddy. I missed you. I had Kit Kat on my first island, and he was my first jock villager, so I never got to see what his real house looks like. So I'm very excited about this. I'm definitely inviting him. I love that he wears a rain hat even though he's wearing a helmet. <laughs> That's very... I just love it. Oh, hi buddy. I missed you. He's so cute. I love how his tail goes from white to blue. So cute. Hey. Okay. I am very happy with who we found. I still have six tickets left, so whenever I need to go hunting again is uh, when I'll use those. So that's beautiful. Let me go back to my island, save the game. I'll probably just fast forward to present time and then hopefully he'll be in his house so that I can see what it looks like. Wow, it's golden hour. So pretty. Okay. Let's go get a glimpse of Kid Cat's house. Hopefully he's home. <gasps> yes, he is home. I missed him so much. This is bringing me back to my first island and I'm loving it. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh. It's a basketball court. <laughs> slash gym. Slash alley. Honestly, about what I, what I expected. I definitely expected workout equipment. 
Uh, not so much the alley situation or the street feel, but I'm kind of digging it. I kind of like it. Hi. Oh, Liz, we finally meet up. You're the whole reason I moved here, but I hadn't seen you. So I thought maybe you left. Aww. I'm so pumped I finally ran into you. We're gonna get this whole island sweating. I don't know about that, but we can see. So that's where I'm going to end the video. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you, thank you, thank you again for 100 subs. It really means the world to me. I cannot believe it. It's just insane to me that 100 people care enough to stick around and watch my videos like that. Thank you again so much for watching. You can like and subscribe if you want, and I will hopefully see you all very soon. Bye!